Yeah. No, I was just thinking, you know, because that they have that Viagra thing out. Yeah. And the other day, but you know, Bob Dole said came right out and said he was one of the first. Yeah. And you know, you don't want to hear about Bob Dole's <laughs> cock, you know. <laughs> I mean, President Clinton's cock, Bob Dole's cock. What the hell? But mostly, an old man like that, an old man. <laughs> You don't want him to have a super hard cock. You know what I mean? Why? Why? Because an old man, you want him to be uh, got a pipe going, a newspaper, the dog at his feet there. Well, that in some corners is considered pipe. Oh. <laughs> But now they're going to have to create some goddamn pill that, that makes women <laughs> arouse at the sight of a fucking 70 year old dude with a super hard cock. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. This Viagra, it's insane. <laughs> And you know what? It's for impotent people. Right? Yeah. It's for impotent guys. So get this. The, the, I read this. The, the 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 pill can make your cock hard for four hours. Right. So now, who has the four-hour hard cock? The impotent guy. <laughs> the rest of us are fucked. Me and you. <laughs> Me and you got our regular cocks. Meanwhile, fucking Spade is, uh, you know. <laughs> Oh man, I didn't see it. I didn't see it coming. Dude, I know you didn't. He brought it all around and then a vicious rip kick into his best friend's gut. Once there's too much cock talk, I try to just zone out for a minute until it goes back the other There, way. If there's too much cock talk, this guy has fevered nightmares all night. Dreams, I mean, like sweaty, fevered dreams from the, from the cock talk that's been all over his head. Cock, why, cock, why cock. bury me twice? He's killing me. No, he's a good man. <laughs> that erased it. All right. No, he's a good man. Who cares? After all that, that's the that's the whiteout he puts on. Yeah, yeah. I know it's awful. After he talks about you doing shit ups on cock for 18 minutes. <laughs> yeah. No, he's a good guy. If you're gay, he's a completely straight guy. He gets a lot of ladies. You know that about him with the ladies. Don't say ladies. Women, girls. Okay, thank yeah. you. Ladies, what are we fucking on an FM station here? <laughs> he's Don Cornelius. But these gay guys, man, I was reading. You know about the these gay guys. I haven't even said hi yet. <laughs> All right. Was, tell me, tell me what it is with these gay guys. I know, I'm already. <laughs> I just read this thing about the Michael uh, George Michael. You're reading Michael. a lot, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I read. I got a little time off now. I read the newspaper. <laughs> And this is really strikes me about the gay community. I don't know if they're a community, but <laughs> but uh, called called the West Hollywood. Yeah, they're 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 gay, and it's you know George Michaels. He hangs around the bathroom. He has sex with multiple guys. This is no, like, no, no, no way. You got to get it right. I, hangs around the bathroom, right. and it was uh, described as a lewd behavior. But I, I don't remember sex with numerous guys. Well, what is, is that? He, what you took away from it? What does he do? What were you in the next stall? <laughs> I could have been just having a nice bathroom, regular thing. I don't know what lewd behavior is, but I don't know that he was in there with numerous guys. But, but anyway, go ahead. We get the gist of this it. This is definitely a gay thing, like because this is a pop superstar. You know right. what I mean? You're not gonna walk into a, a bathroom and all of a sudden Farrah Fawcett's like, ah, you know? You're not gonna. What? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. What I'm saying is why. <laughs> Why would a famous? Why? What was she doing? What was that? Some sort of cervical belt sander thing, or what was that? Ah! Oh, Christ! What are you, that's Linda Blair? They do. That's what they do. That's what they. That's what ladies that I know do. <laughs> but, but good, my, good to know that. Prime time exposure is paying dividends there. Big But guy. I think that's what it is. It's that the gay, uh, they, that's why they have separate bathrooms. Let's face it. If they had women and, uh, you know, women, as you call them, I call them ladies. If, if you had them in the same bathroom, like, like, you, like you go in the bathroom to, to do your uh, business, see a man about a dog there, you know, and you're, you're in the bathroom. <laughs> you're in the bathroom. All of a sudden, a beautiful lady comes out. Oh, here's my vagina and breasts. You're gonna be hanging out at that bathroom a lot. <laughs> so I don't blame anybody for anything. <laughs>
Can you believe Olmeyer didn't get him? <laughs> I know. We're all the same, man. <laughs> have, you, have you ever met Olmeyer since then? John Olmeyer I met once, yeah, after he fired me. Yeah. Then I went and visited him in his office, which was, it, was a, it wasn't an office I've never seen. It was like a wet bar and a, uh, a bunch of weird sports trophies. He's a big sports guy, you know? Yeah. So he explained it to me, what happened, but he did it all with sports stuff, you know? Like he said, ah, man, you see, you're the number three hitter, but now you're going to be number eight. And then uh, later on, uh, Ken Griffey will show up. I didn't know what the hell he was talking about. And then I said, well, Christ, man, what the hell am I supposed to do? And he goes, I don't know, just walk it off, you know? And uh, I'll put it in sports terms why you got fired. You were fucking with OJ too much. That's exactly uh, yeah. why you were fired, man. Well, I don't know. That's his that. buddy. Yeah, it's his buddy. Yeah, well, that's why you got Ken. OJ's a good guy. I mean, he's not. <laughs> We got to end on that, Normie, but uh, there's what they'll remember hey, you by. OJ's a good guy. Man, Thanks for coming hungry. on. Norm McDonald and David Spade, stick around. Guys.